Okay, you were right. Canna is way more than just all right. I really underestimated what it would be like to leave. Being away for this long made me realize how much I actually miss it. I don't want to start crying. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Um, sometimes you just got to realize what's important in life. I'm keeping it cool and making sure that I am focused and knowing what's good for my family. Hey, it's Mai. For those who don't know me, I left Canada for a year now and started a new chapter in Vietnam with my little family. To explore new opportunities, invest in our future, and give my little family a different way of living. We wanted to live more simple, invest wisely, and create new experience for our girls. But you know what? You guys were right. I didn't realize how much I miss Canada until I've been away for a year now. It's funny because at first I thought I'll be totally fine. However, after some time, I realized the little things are starting to stand out. Just like uh, the cooler summers that isn't so humid, just like in Vietnam, or the traditions I grew up with that I used to celebrate every year. And also just the little things like the structure of recycling and green bins. It hit me differently because being in Vietnam, seeing that it's not as common really wants me to make a difference here in Vietnam and appreciate how lucky that Canada has a system in place for that. And honestly, I didn't expect to miss the Canadian ear that is like fresh and it just seems a bit cleaner. And I'm glad that there was laws that are in place that keeps it that way in Canada. What I really miss most is my family and friends. Being away this long really showed me how much they mean to me. I don't want to start crying seeing my mom and dad. Take a break. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Um, I bet seeing my mom and dad made me feel sad and a little bit guilty for not being closer. I tried to spend as much time as possible with them and when I was back. I took them to their doctor visits and I really wanted just to take care of them. I know it's been really hard just seeing them that they're getting old and ill. Okay, I'm just gonna try to talk this through. Um, they are getting older and they have said that they're gonna come visit me in the new year. So I'm excited about that. But realizing, um, sometimes you just gotta realize what's important in life. And I know family and friends are, however, I'm doing this for my small little family, so I'm keeping it cool and making sure that I am focused and knowing what's good for my family. Another thing is that I really took for granted when I was in Canada was my brothers, my nieces, and my nephews. Seeing them made me remind me how much I do miss them, and I just want them to know that I love them. And even though I'm far, I will be there for them in another way. And I just hope for my family, like my brothers and my nephew and nieces, for them to be happy and just follow their dreams and what they want. And even with my BFF and her husband, I'm so glad that they never judged my husband and I and always lifts us up and always encouraged us to be positive in the decisions that we make. And for that, that makes me sad and guilty for not seeing them more often. I always thought that we would grow old together and do everything side by side. However, I'm trying to make this work by seeing them as much as I can when I'm back in Canada. And also in the future, I'm hoping that we all will just meet up at a destination when we travel and just like go on vacation together. But at the same time, I know I got to do this what's best for my family right now. And this, this is just something we have to do. It's not always easy, though sometimes I wonder if I'm making the right decisions, but I'm learning to have a little bit more faith. And I learned that it's okay to take risk. And by having faith and taking high risk, it's just, it's still really hard. Like when we left Canada, my oldest daughter and I cried so much saying goodbye, even if it's just for now, it's just so hard. But I had to be strong and remind myself I needed to give this my all to see if we can make this work here in Vietnam and 
this is something I'll share more about in the next video, how things are going with like homeschooling, work, family, and the community here. But back to Canada, I realized I need to get back at least once a year to see my family and friends there. And next time that we do plan to go there, we're gonna stay a bit longer. This time we stayed about a month and a half, which I don't feel like it's long enough because I want to spend like individual time with every single person and also do the things that my family and I like to do. Like there's so much that we love about Canada. Like we love our fishing trips up north, having snow for Christmas, or just wearing my cozy fall outfits that I love because I do love fashion and just enjoying the cooler summers there versus it always being so humid like Vietnam. But I think that's what keeps pulling me back to Canada. If I could design my life right now, I would spend a couple months in Canada enjoying all those things and then the rest of the year in Asia or traveling around the world. I know Vietnam is very beautiful, but there's just so much more to explore and we only live once. I just want to experience everything in the world that has to offer for my family and I. I'm all about world schooling now, letting my girls explore different cultures, meet new people, and seeing the world through their own eyes. It's more than just traveling, it's the way of learning, growing, and becoming. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm grateful for the present, but with my heart in two places. How about you? Have you ever left home and realized how much you missed it? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear your stories too, to uplift my little spirit that I'm gone from my family back home. But yeah, thanks for joining me on this little reflection today. No matter where life takes us, one thing's for sure, we're creating an abundant aesthetic life together. And as always, let's grow and glow and flourish together.